Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to part four of my Let's Platinum Rise of the Tomb Raider series. So we've just left the glacial cavern uh, that I'm just rewalking that and we here we are here at the top of the Soviet installation. This is where we're going to start this episode. Uh, it's going to be three episodes probably with um, Soviet installation. It's a big place, there's lots to do and it kind of unlocks as you go through the, so the story. So we will be returning here as well. Uh, so this is kind of the main place. Uh, you can see there the list of things we need. There's a big area here. Uh, we're only been doing the small bit in the middle at this point. And the two bits off to the side um, are kind of story related bits. So yeah, there will be timestamps in the description. And um, if you want a full break full breakdown of the Platinum, then uh, check out episode one, which will be in the top corner. So I just got the first uh, survival cache then. Uh, these are the ones you can get straight away. So as you go down this rope, uh, we're going to find another one here. We're actually only going to get one trophy in this episode, um, and that's zipper for transferring uh, across uh, zip lines. Uh, we can do that at any point, but uh, we'll get it later on. At this point, we're just going to be having a look around and uh, finding some caves. There's uh, caves everywhere. There's even missions now. There's three tombs. There's so much to do. Where I'm stood right there, there's actually a coin cache. But because we haven't done the monolith for this area, there's quite a few monoliths, there's three, um, we can't use it yet, or we can't find it. Uh, you can see there we've done a first challenge, or started the first challenge, uh, find one of five caves. We'll be doing that in this episode. Uh, you need to go through every cave anyway to uh, find certain things. And uh, some of the, the, the tomb we go in, the start of that counts as a cave as well. I'm just going to craft um, some poison arrows then, because if there is something around that is worth picking up, it's worth seeing if you can craft any of the uh, craft anything, so you're able to actually pick it up. Some coins here. Whenever you go into a cave or um, a tomb, use the survival instinct, because it is going to show up coins and things. Uh, we will actually be visiting the shop right at the end of this episode. Uh, there's just one shop in the game, uh, and that's the only place you can spend the coins. So we go down here. Now you would go right to actually go down and get the treasure for this uh, this cave, this crypt. We're just going to go round here. Might as well mine while we're here as well. You'll find resources that become a lot more plentiful later on when you sort of level up. Uh, and you're able to get more resources from each each time um, they become less of a problem right now I'm just finding everything grab that document yeah there's uh, what is there 26 documents in this is quite a lot so I'm going to another way round but this is essentially where we drop down to start with so there's only two paths uh, left or right and then there's uh, two paths again left or right this is just a, a dead end. It has a, a few coins up here, that's all. And some wood. So again, crap, make sure I've got enough arrows. Because I know I'm going to be picking wood up anyway. Wood is one thing you want to make sure you have on you at all times. Because if you come to a, a new uh, campsite, campfire, you want to make sure you're able to craft it. It's going to take three wood to do that for each one, and I think there's 40 odd in the game. So, uh, yeah, that's a lot of wood, plus, you need it for arrows as well. So, there's the uh, the extra parts. This is the the, tre the crypt treasure. This there was no puzzles in these things, there's only a couple of these in uh, in this this level in the Soviet installation. Uh, we'll be finding all of those for a trophy. Uh, I think there's five in the game. Um, but yeah, they're, they're spread out throughout the game, so don't worry about that. Um, and then eventually we get that bow. So just work our way back out and continue on. So there's lots of side pathing here. Uh, essentially what we're doing in this whole, whole hour long thing, we're not even going to touch the story at all. There is that much side stuff to do in Soviet installation. Um, that's all we're doing. We're going into a tomb. 
we're doing a few caves uh, we're going finding documents and uh, relics strong box strong boxes uh, we're not even going to really do any of the challenges because they all need require later on things fire arrows and stuff so uh, we'll be coming back to do those later on as well here's another document and now it's on with the, the story so your choice of combat is obviously it's up to you we're on uh, survivor difficulty so uh, you do take more damage but it's compared to some games it's really not that hard um, healing is so quick and you don't take as much damage as you'd think you can sort of stand there and take quite a few shots to the face and uh, you'll be fine don't throw this bottle too early otherwise that first guy will hear it again you may have to skirt round and uh, get the second guy because he's going to turn around see a lot of them rush you like that as well which give you more than enough time to uh, to beat them in the fight and around here you can see it in the background there is uh, another survival cache where we are that's all we've done we've just gone a little bit there <laughs> and we're already what six minutes in so now we're moving on through the base kind of thing a few enemies here again it's up to you how you take them on uh, if you're gonna stealth kill somebody make sure you're in the bush as you press triangle if you sort of leave the bush and do press triangle, uh, then you get seen as you, you do the kill. Uh, so make sure you press triangle from in the bush and then it's sort of a different animation. Well, not animation, but a different area of sight kind of thing. I'm just going to set these guys on fire, because why not? It does alert everybody. You could do this whole bit stealth if you really wanted to. But that'd be boring, wouldn't it? See, they don't initially, this is a good thing as well, they don't initially know where you are. There is a guy coming down the stairs, he's going to spot me and uh, alert this guy. Well, that was a stealth kill there, or finisher. That was technically a stealth kill because I didn't have to do the the tapping of square to finish him. So yeah, the rest of them are going to be upstairs. Uh, and then at this point we only have the bow. Which is not the best thing to be fighting people with guns. Uh, you can, if you played the Uncharted series, you'll know about the. Uh, ah, that's not a good shot. You'll know about the peeking around the corner uh, and shooting from round corners when the enemy can't see you. Uh, you can do that in this game as well. So it does help in some, well, quite a lot of the fights. Uh, you can just kind of peek around the corner. The enemies can't hit you, and you can just line up a headshot. You have all day to do it. I don't do it here, but if I would have gone further back, he wouldn't have been able to see me. But I'm not in any particular bother here. And that's it. That's all the enemies here. I think if you stealth it, you get fewer. There's only four of them. Nobody else turns up. And uh, here's a strong box. So these are, what are they, 14 of these that we need to find? These just have parts. Eventually, you'll get enough to build a weapon, and the weapon will just become available for um, for use at a campfire. You don't actually have to craft it. This is another uh, mural here. We're in a, a Soviet base, Soviet installation, so uh, the the language you're going to be learning mostly here is Russian. Uh, we need to get it up to level three to actually use one of the uh, monoliths. So uh, that's going to be a lot later on. And to do that, you need to pick up all the documents. So you can't kind of wait till later on. You need to be working at it all the time, finding documents and uh, murals. You can't just come back and get everything in one go. So yeah, we're just going to have to chip away and pick things up as we go. And then things gradually unlock. Uh, yeah, crafting weapon or making new weapons uh, is not 
majorly important at this point now we would only have the bow and then we're actually going to pick up uh, a revolver very shortly uh, which we do need for a trophy we need to get six headshots without reloading um, I will do that in a specific place probably in the next episode um, it's quite a linear shoot uh, firefight so you can sort of deal with one person at a time we're just going to do it there um, but we have the DLC, we have the 20th year celebration, so we will have some extra weapons available to us right away. Uh, probably a lot better than the stuff that we're supposed to have. Like a Desert Eagle. Which is uh, pretty damn good. So here's the revolver. Now if you really wanted to, you could try and get the headshot trophy in the next room. Not this one. But the next room I do actually miss I completely forget about a document there's one right behind me now so if you want to pick it up that now that's fine but there is a door that I'm going to show you in a moment there's two guys in there so take care of those there's a door to the right hand side you can just see it there with a lock on it we can't open that until we have the lock pick which we'll get uh, later on for doing the first uh, mission not story mission but kind of side mission it's different from a challenge uh, we need the lockpick to do that, so um, we'll be back up here anyway. But yes, there's a, there was a document behind me at that window. So at that point there, as you jump through, there's going to be a cutscene, and then you'll be uh, you'll be in this room. Uh, there's five, one, two, one up there, one there, one up there, two guys here, and one to the right hand side. There's five guys, and then two will rush in afterwards. So it is enough to get the headshot trophy if you like, but it gets kind of manic in here once you uh, set the place on fire. I'm going to try and do that quietly. So there's a few ways you can do this. You can go high up if you want and there are lanterns lying around. You can see there's a lantern at the top there. If you climb to the right hand side here you can go across. Or you can just wait till this guy walks across, grab this lantern and uh, do it that way. Well, basically there's a pool, uh, that's a fuel tank. There's a puddle of fuel in front of them. Uh, it will blow everything up. Now I'm going to be a bit cheeky here. I did die because I rushed out here and this guy got me because I did the uh, melee. So I'm going to do a quick cut there, cut back in. Uh, the guy, the first guy is going to rush you and the second guy is going to sit back. So if you stun the first guy with a few hits and then kill the second guy, do it that way. But yes, I did die so I've just quickly cut that there. Not missed anything else, but we don't want to see me dying. No health. Luckily there's one right there. So that's, that lets me do it. I'm just going to search back in here. I don't think there was anything. I didn't think there was anything. There's a bit of ammo. That's it. But again, we can come back here. We will be coming back here. To uh, open that door up. There is a doc. Uh, no, there's not a document. There's a relic in there that we need. Plus that document I missed. Here's another mural. That's going to take the Russian up slightly. And then over here is going to be our next uh, bonfire. <laughs> Keep calling them bonfires, they're not. Um, base camp. So you will need three wood to do it, but this is going to be a new uh, fast travel point that we can use later to come back. So do have a skill point. Uh, where we're putting it. The next level, I think the next level unlocks, the round two unlocks very shortly. Uh, you kind of need to fur buy the first tier. Um, I think it's seven across the first tier before the next round unlocks. But we'll get some good stuff later on. Better things. Just kind of using points up at this point, so it doesn't really matter what you put it in. So you can see all these have unlocked now. These are all uh, DLC related things. So I'm going to take Moon Shadow because it's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, we don't have rifles or shotguns yet, so we can't have those. And uh, bow stays the same. And again, I'm going to be doing upgrading the axe fully. So there's only two left on it, um, and then we'll get the trophy for fully upgrading a weapon. So because there's a lot more, you see this gun here has a lot more upgrades on it. So it will take a lot more. You will be able to fully upgrade it, but. You'll want to spread your upgrades out a bit, I would imagine. 
and uh, you can change what Lara looks like. You should have a few costumes. They do have different bonuses. Uh, I'm going to take the ammo one. There is a chance that when uh, when we fire, the ammo won't actually go down. It's not really a uh, essential. I just like the <laughs> prefer it as a look for Lara. That's all. So again, it's up to you which one you put on. So we'll go through here, and there's going to be a relic in this train car. Someone's rosary. It's not one of the ones we can learn any language from. There's going to be a survival cache in the opposite corner. Oh, it's hard to find it. There, there we go. And then uh, on to the next part. But before we just do that, we're going to drop down uh, and grab a completely useless archivist map. It doesn't actually show anything up. I think we've already got everything. That's why. Must be another way. But yeah, that's where we're heading, basically. In uh, a few hours' time, there's a lot more to do. But yeah, there's only this area. There's a big area. Uh, and then there's Geothermal Valley, which is another big area. And apart from that, most of it is quite linear. So here's the, uh, the Archivist map. Yeah, it doesn't mark anything. <laughs> We've already got everything, I think. But uh, yeah, there we go. Anyway, if you wanted it, there's nine of those Archivist maps in this this section. Now moving on. So yeah, we're in the main part now. This is the open world section. And we're gonna get missions. So they do unlock as you go through the story in this area. So we are we don't there's what are there? There's five missions. Uh, we're gonna get this one to start with. Uh, we can only complete this one, but this guy will give us another one after we've finished a story mission. This is a side mission. Um and you get bonuses. We need to do them for 100% anyway. But you get bonuses. Once we finish this one, we'll get the lockpick. As you can see there. Uh, which is going to allow us to unlock things, basically. And I'll show you behind us in a minute. There is a lockbox there. Or a strong box. But we can't open it because you do need uh, a lockpick. So there's another important camp to uh, set up. And then yeah here so can't open that yet we will come back for that shortly so in his cabin is a document the red army is coming i've been tracking them for weeks we're up to level 2 russian now We do need level 3 for the monolith that we're going to find shortly. Which is quite annoying. Because uh, level 3 we get a lot later on. I'm just going to run up here and grab another uh, document. You can see there that the challenge tomb is nearby. Uh, it does get marked on the map when it says that. But it's not where you expect it to be. It's just kind of randomly <laughs> it's somewhere around here so uh, looking at it on the map doesn't really help that there that cabinet I just walked past um, that needs that requires a lockpick they usually just have poison in them uh, and that's it really so I'm gonna jump across here and go into another cave this is where we are Yeah, you'll be using Survivor Instinct again. Try and find coins and whatever else. There's some on the left. There are going to be a couple of things initially when we get to the shop uh, that we don't want to buy. Basically, the upgrade tools, 
We'll be finding them later on, so we don't want to waste coin on them. Uh, I'm not. I don't think there's enough coin in the game to purchase them as well, but we will be finding them. So we'll just uh, when we get to the shop, I'll point them out. Just uh, don't buy them. We do need to buy everything in the shop, but uh, we will be finding these two things later on anyway, uh, which will. I'll explain when we get to the shop. <laughs> it makes sense when we can actually have them in front of us. But yeah. Um, just pick up as much coin as you uh, as you can. I think with all of the coin caches, we have enough at that point anyway to buy everything. So don't worry, you're not going to run out. And we're going to go up here and we're going to actually get to the... Uh, the treasure here. So in here there's just the mural, the document and then the treasure itself which is uh, kind of a tomb, crypt thing. Open it up, it's going to be a part for that bow again. And that is all the crypt treasures in Soviet installation. So that's ticked off. So yeah, the ancient bow. More coin. So yeah, you can get coin. You saw uh, not that kind of bin over. I forget what they're called, the bin things that had a coin in it. Um, so yeah, you could probably, if you ran out, you could probably go around looking for it. Uh, I don't think it's uh, missable, but we don't want to put ourselves in that situation. So we won't be buying the upgrade equipment because we can find it. We just have to wait a bit. And then back outside. Basically going up the frozen river now. So there's lots here that we can't actually do as well. Uh, I'll point it out in a moment. There's two challenges we need to do in this area. There's cut down flags. Uh, that's a place we'll be going up to later on. We're going to be doing a mission and then we'll come out there. Um, there's cut down flags and then there's burn certain signs. Uh, we can't cut down the flags yet because we don't have the knife yet. And burning down flags, we don't have readily available fire. There are lamps around um, and we can't craft molotovs yet. So we're just going to have to wait and come back with fire arrows. It's going to be the easiest way to do it. Yeah, so scare those wolves away. I'm trying to harvest this deer. It's weird. The prompt is just. It sometimes it appears. There's a very specific place you have to stand. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's go and get this map, and uh, get in that cave. So this one does actually reveal a thing. <laughs> The archivist maps aren't needed for 100%. I'm just finding them because it makes uh, highlighting things on the uh, the map easier. You can see this gun that I'm using, this Desert Eagle type gun, is a lot better than uh, using the revolver. We will be switching back to the revolver at the beginning of the next video uh, to get that trophy for not reloading and getting six headshots. So yeah, we will have to come back into this cave. Uh, it's part of a side mission in the next video. I'm just clearing it out and getting some uh, some leather and things like that. I think there may actually, yeah, I think there is a, doc a relic or a document. Or is it a map? Or is it nothing in this one? I think it actually might be nothing in this cave. There, we finally got the prompt. I was basically here to get leather. So the wolves will run off. If you kill all but one of them, the last one will run off. Uh, and he will always run off as well. Uh, there's plenty of those branches as well. They're basically pawn spawn points for animals. So you can't get through them. Yeah, no, not having it at all. Cannot find that prompt on it. See there, yeah, panicked, but no, it's just, it is the last one, so it is just going to run off. 
good job because that aim was terrible. See, it seems to be if you stand in between its legs, that seems to be where it is. So this is the monolith we can't do until we have uh, level 3 Russian. Uh, so that's going to be later on. Which is unfortunate because that's uh, the coins where we are. So we're going to have to move on to come back. I'll go to this sawmill next. Uh, once we've finished the main mission in the next video, there is going to be uh, one of the side, uh, the DLCs starts from here. Uh, I'm not going to be incorporating it in this um, this Platinum walkthrough, but I will uh, later on at a later time, we'll go back to it and uh, do it in one video, in its own video, or a couple of videos. Um, so it's up to you if you want to start it, of course, go ahead. But yeah, it will show up later on. And uh, yeah, I'll point it out when it does. Here's the first uh, communication tower for the uh, breakdown mission. You can see them all here. If you have the mission highlighted, so if you go to press triangle on the map, you can go to missions and highlight different missions. So it highlights all the radio towers anyway. Here's another lock box at the top, or strong box. I don't think this is the best attire uh, Lara should actually be wearing in this weather, because she does keep shivering. <laughs> Here's another thing. Um, we need the knife to cut that down, uh, so we can't do that yet. It's just uh, weapon parts anyway. Over here for a bit more Russian. So yeah, it goes up very slowly in between two and three. I think when we get to three is actually proficient. Uh, that's the highest one for Russian. There are wolves here. Uh, for some reason, they aren't dying with one shot. Either I'm completely missing, or these are a lot stronger, these wolves. Uh, there's a dodge counter. Very handy. We do actually need that for a, a trophy a lot later in the game. We have to uh, kill a certain enemy with a finisher. But it is the uh, the last enemy of the game. See, the last one ran off again. Uh, we're actually going to be going into this cave, so that's why I've uh, cleared it out. Plus, leather's good. You want lots of leather because it allows you to uh, to upgrade your pouch, basically. And there's a uh, challenge number four or cave number four for the challenge. And there is actually an archivist map in here as well. Lara just goes around murdering animals, especially later when we have to uh, hunt 50 animals while wearing a certain outfit. Uh, we can't get the outfit yet. But yeah, once we do that, we just murder as many animals as we find. <laughs> it's a bit ridiculous, really. Anything goes. Birds, rabbits, wolves, deer, whatever's moving. Chickens. I don't know if they count, but <laughs> there's chickens as well. So we'll run past. This is the beginning of the challenge tomb here. We'll be back here in a moment. Just going to run past and get this stuff here. this tower and there is a flag behind me and there you can see missing gear that's an annoying prompt you're going to see quite often this is roughly where we are here well it's not roughly it's exactly where we are yeah there's a flag on top of this silo here can't do it yet obviously but here's a communication tower two yeah, you can see she's a, a bit cold. There's a cave. We can't go in yet. Um, we need explosives for that one. Uh, so, yeah. Again, we'll have to come back for that. 
explosives are a lot later on. Explosive arrows. There's another lock box or strong box. Now we're going to get the uh, finish of the challenge by going into the challenge tomb. The beginning of, it, beginning of it counts as a cave. So if you shoot this down, it's going to break this well open. And there we go. So that's five caves. Challenge one done. Can't do any of the others yet. Challenge two will be in the next uh, video, smashing laptops. And then after that, we'll have to come back for the others because it's rope, uh, a knife to cut down ropes, and uh, burning down posters, which we'll need fire arrows for. And these all come during the story. So you've seen there, there's a mural behind me. Go and get that. So we're not actually in the challenge tomb yet. This is sort of a cave before it. See, it's still telling us that there's one nearby. We haven't gone into it yet. Now we're getting towards it. There's water down below. So yeah, we need to go that way. We're just going to go and get a, uh, a relic here. So you can see that avid learner that we've got initially is putting in work. The first um, skill that we unlock to use the skill point. Every time we open up something or find something, we're getting that extra XP. It's not essential, but it, I mean, there's no point getting avid learner at the end of the game. Might as well be the first one we get. It's going to help with uh, getting XP level up very quickly. So here's a bit of a funny jump. If you jump directly to the left, if you go too far, if you go all the way around and then jump, um, you'll slide down the hill, which is not a problem. You're just going to miss these two crates, which do have a few parts in them. So be careful of that. And as soon as you drop down, go and grab this. Icon, casting gold. And then it's actually on to the tomb. So this is where we're going. We're going to drop down here, actually. Hmm. Yeah, Lara's not feeling it. She's a bit cold. Probably should have put something more suitable on. So you need to wait for the water to actually go down a bit. Otherwise, you can still get chewed up by these fans. Once you see the gap, drop down. There we go. So you can actually climb back out as well. So they have thought of everything. Uh, but we'll be warping out of here. There's a bonfire. Or campfire. And this is basically the puzzle for this, this tomb, this challenge tomb, is blow these, these doors open. Here's the campfire. So each challenge tomb does have a campfire in it, so you can walk back to it or out of it. You do actually have a skill point there as well. Running out of options here. I want the next line to open up. Let's just do faster crafting, that'll do. So we do need to fully finish one of those trees, but we'll get lots. Um, I think with my first playthrough I got, uh, I think I just had four left to upgrade. So I'd finished two of the trees, so that's not going to be a problem finishing one of them. And then we're in the tomb. So essentially we need to get up to this uh, this thing here. But of course, as we jump across, it all collapses. So we need to raise the water level. And we do that by blowing those uh, those wooden doors open. 
these things. Very easy to in this one. The game practically shows you what to do. And we go, we're going to be using this raft to the left hand side. So we do the next two. So there is a door behind me. And what we need to do is get move the raft along and then shoot it as it goes back past. So we'll throw one of these cans on there. I'm not sure how a normal arrow makes a red can explode, but sure. So we'll just basically send it on a little trip and blow it up as it comes back past. There is a tunnel off to the left there. There's nothing in there. I don't know what it's for. Okay. Should be able to send me now. Down there to the left. Yeah, there's nothing in there. It's weird. Yep, Lara's tying her hair up even though she's got a hat on. And we're going to open up that uh, that wall, break this wall down that was above where we just blew that first thing up. And we need to do exactly the same thing again. Get the raft to go across. And as it comes back, we're actually going to run and throw a, a can up into that hole. So I'm just going to look in here because I don't remember this last time. But there's nothing in here. I'm not quite sure what this room is for. Anyway. So yeah, there are uh, a few documents in here, and there's a map as well, but you need to raise the water level to the top before you're able to get hold of them. It's the same thing again. Jump across, make sure it's on there, because the cans do not float at all. And then we're going to run across and uh, throw it up. And that's it, that's basically the whole tomb finished. Oh, that was close. Just dropped down then. And this is it, the final door. Before we blow it out, though, we're just going to go and uh, investigate to get some uh, documents. Should be more than enough oil to light the passages below. So there's one document, and then there's uh, just a little box here. That was probably what was in that extra room was just one of those boxes. There definitely wasn't anything worth uh, worth finding because we can backtrack backtrack to everywhere, nothing's missable so because we raised the water level uh, it means there's nothing important there yeah so that's it, we've done just going to grab this document here and the map in the one next to it My love. This so Greek's going up pretty quickly but that's of no use to us at this point we want Russian She keeps fixing her hair, but <laughs> not even now. Yep, so it's added a, a few more things. Most of it we're finding as we go anyway. Nope, can't jump it. Can't jump there. Gotta go around. So this is the first challenge tomb done. Two more left, 
uh, we do have to come back for the others though I think we need rope um, for the one that we're able to we're actually able to get to it right now but we do need rope um, first rope arrows and then we do need fire for the next one so now we can uh, we'll automatically see um, trees and mushrooms and things as we walk past them essentially that's what that does they'll uh, automatically get highlighted which is handy because we do need a lots of it so it uh, means you don't have to use uh, survival instinct as much but now I'm just going to uh, to warp out of here it's going to be quicker than um, climbing back out I'm just going to go to that regular base camp at the bottom the one where that guy was that gave us the mission and then we're going to move on and now we're actually going to finish that that side mission and then we're going to do a little bit of backtracking you see there it's highlighted as I run past it so it means you're going to miss less See, I'm going to go and hit all these green, green things now. You can see it there on top of the, the stone formation. Rock's also going to get the zipper trophy at the top of here. It's a place you can get it at any time. You can come back and do this at any time. Keep trying as many times as you like as well. You should be able to get it first time though. feathers so look out for these nests because you need those to craft more regular ammo uh, arrows for the special arrows you don't actually need feathers there is a coin cache annoyingly up here as well so <laughs> we do have to climb back up here later it's with that monolith that we need level three, uh, three Russian for. There we go. Here's the uh, communication tower with a, a nest on it that we can't actually get to. Right, zip line. Uh, just show you. Here's the the fourth tower, and there's the fifth one, essentially where we're going. We're going to go down this zip line, and then we're going to transfer to this zip line. So just do that. Uh, don't go too soon. When you get close enough, press circle, it'll drop off onto the next one. And that's it, that's the zipper trophy done. You just try that as many times as you like. I'm just going to get a, uh, a survival cache here. Just one stranded one on its own. I'll show you on the map where I am so we don't get lost. Here we are. A weapon part very helpful there's the next challenge tomb directly ahead there's a cave there um, yeah we need uh, rope arrows I think it is for that one so we will be coming back uh, well actually I think we get rope arrows in the next story section so we will be back in the next video to do this one That was the fourth communication tower. Now we're going to move on. This is the story path now. This is the way we need to go. Uh, but before that, we're going to do a little bit of backtracking once we've uh, we've finished this side mission. We do actually need to turn it in, unfortunately. So there is a campfire here. Now it's up to you. You can break this tower down. And uh, just walk back, or you can run back. It's probably about the same amount of time. Can't wait for those PS5 no loading times. Definitely be uh, warping back. So I'm just going to run back. That was the fifth tower, so I'm going to run all the way back. Here a day, we need to get 15 heart uh, kills basically a, hot, a shot to the heart 
uh, to kill the deer we need to do that 15 times uh, there is a specific skill we can buy later on which uh, highlights the heart uh, sorry the the skill that we find in a challenge tomb that highlights the heart and then uh, we can get a, a skill called true shot which will automatically lock on to the deer's heart um, which makes that a lot easier so we'll just do that towards the end of the game uh, there are a few places where deer spawn you can go around in the three areas uh, this place Soviet installation geothermal valley and uh, Siberian wilderness um, move between them and get them and as you move the story on the deers respawn and uh, you can just keep doing it over and over so we'll turn this in we're gonna get the lock pick padlocks helpful so that means we can open that chest that strong box down below us seen it no he's not playing it's definitely later on that we need to get the second mission off him so there's another that's the pistol actually unlocked but it's uh, not as good as the one we have already because of the uh, DLC so the new round two has opened up now I'm gonna use deadly force I'm gonna just get deadly force we do need this one for a trophy uh, basically we can now smash a bottle into a guy's neck to kill him instantly we need to do that for a trophy so I will be doing that uh, just level this this is the pistol I will use mostly for the rest or handgun I'll be using mostly for the rest of the game uh, I will switch back to the revolver for the next video to get that trophy done and then after that we're going to be using the uh, that desert eagle looking thing so I'm just going to warp back to this base camp here this is at the top of the hill where we uh, zip line down this is where we blew up that uh, fuel tank we're just going to go and unlock that door uh, and then we don't need to come back here this is where we blew the door open uh, I'll also be getting that document I completely missed there's a lot to remember in this game. It's not linear, so it's a lot of back and forth. But luckily, nothing can be missed. So we'll open that up. There's basically just a relic in here. This is what we've come for. Uh, there is one of these lockers that we can open up now. But yeah, they usually just have poison in them. I'm full, so I don't need it. And then I'm going to go and get this document. Yeah, see, completely forgot it. <laughs> there we go. Increases the uh, the Russian a bit as well. Don't know what that was then. It wasn't me. And then we're just going to walk back to that uh, that last bonfire that we've just created uh, at the top of that uh, little hill. You can see there we're actually going to be doing a monolith as well. It's not the level 3 one, there is another one. And annoyingly it's going to reveal the coin caches where we have been already. Nope, we're using the bonfire, there we go. So we'll walk back to the top of the hill now, where that fifth uh, fifth tower was. There we go. Now we need to move on up the hill, and uh, this is the story path. So we are sort of leaving this area for a moment, We're basically going off to the area on the uh, the top of the map, which is uh, another base. Um, yeah, so there's a big firefight section and things like that. A bit more going on. So this bit here, you don't need to jump across here because it's going to collapse. Um, so the chances are you probably, if you're not ready for it, you'll go down the hill. So what you're doing there is climb up there instead and walk across. 
uh, and if not you'll slide down to uh, to where that tower was number two or three and uh, to get across there you need broad head arrows later on we get those very later on uh, very late on um, so it doesn't really matter there's another one of the flags so we'll be doing these later yeah I don't know why the broadhead things here you can just walk around you don't really need to come up here anyway at that point in the game so yeah go climb up that wall instead and you come around this way much safer here's the monolith you see there we're actually moving uh, the story on as well so yeah annoyingly the coin cache is <laughs> at the bottom places we've already been down here so each one reveals three three coins uh, and there's three monoliths so nine in total nine coin caches so I'm going to use the overpowered poison arrows here instantly kills anything around there is one more guy uh, usually be off to the right but where these are he's on top of this building here here he is Yeah, there's nothing they can do. If they get close enough, you can just melee them. There's nothing they can do about it. Now, here, I think there was a... I thought there was a survival cache here, but if I remember rightly, it's actually up above. Uh, we need the broadhead arrows to get up there, so it is a lot... So these wooden panels here, you fire the arrows into them and you're able to climb up. But we don't get those till a lot later on. So we will be back. There, there is actually a coin cache I'm going to get in a moment, though. Let's just uh, get this bonfire going, or campfire, I'll get it right eventually. So I'm going to set this up, I'll be using this one a few times as well to get back up to the shop, because that's the cabin behind us, is the shop. So there is a coin cache just here, this is where you would could climb up, not would, you could. Here we go. Uh, well, we're still on seven coins in this one. 25 coins later on there is a, uh, a mural on the side of the building more soviet propaganda. some more soviet propaganda not much russian going up there and then we're going to open this up you need to walk through here to carry on anyway so this is the shop is the only guy in the game you can see everything he has for sale along the sides. Two weapons. Uh, they are expensive. Uh, silencer for the pistol, which is something I'm actually going to buy. Or suppressor, same thing. Um, it is helpful, and it will go on to any pistol. So as you switch across your pistols, it will stay on. Uh, there it says automatically applied. I'm also going to grab the rope ascender as well. Uh, allows you just you don't use it often but we need to buy everything so uh, it's up to you what you buy uh, just I'll show you what not to buy so we need the rope sender we need this thing here the grenade launcher uh, the the laser sight commando outfire this thing the crafting tool do not buy that uh, we will find that later on and then we'll also find the upgraded crafting tool later on and then we can actually buy the final thing, which is a, a refinement tool, I think it is. Uh, so just don't buy that. Just ignore it completely. Uh, and I'll tell you when to buy the, the final one. So yeah, grab that document. Uh, grab that survival cache just around the side here. Somewhere. There it is. Right, so I'm going to leave this, uh, this video here because that's pretty much it. We're going to be moving on to a story section next. Uh, things are going to go a little bit wrong, a little bit wrong, so uh, yeah. Um, I'll just set the rest of this campfire here, and this is exactly where I'll start off the next episode. Uh, I'll just do a little bit of uh, weapon upgrading while we finish off here. Uh, put it wherever you like, it doesn't really matter. Right, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.